Okay, so yeah, if you look at it, there's no information. It lo looks like an empty page. It doesn't look real. So you can definitely personalize your clinic. So let me go back to my provider account and click on my name and then click my account. All right, so over here, if I scroll down, I can edit this page. So this is where all my uh, information will go. So first I will upload my profile picture. Oh, great. And I can uh, add a prefix like, you know, doctor, and I can add a surface like MD, and I can also add my bio. So my clients can know a little bit more about me. Okay, let me delete this extra stuff. Okay, so this is my bio. And if you will like, you can also add additional information such as your education and training, your professional and personal interests here. And you just click update. All right, so success, my account saved. All right, let's see, it will, let me refresh on the client's end. Okay, great. So now they can see my uh, profile picture and then they can read my bio. But there's no information about your clinic yet. So you can also update that. Click, go back to your account, click on your name, but this time choose my clinic. All right, so this is where you can add your clinic information. So let me clean this up a little bit. So you can say whatever you want for your practice, for your clinic, you know, to share the information with your patients. So for me, I just say, you know, my office is now closed due to the crisis. And then I put my uh, hours of telehealth, my clinic phone number, if they need to call and make an appointment. So yeah, you can put any information right here and, and then uh, just click on update. All right, so changes are saved. So let's see on this side. All right, great. So now my clients can see my practice information, my clinic information, and also my bio. All like I mentioned, this uh, clinic link for your patient or your client is permanent, so they can bookmark it and then they can come back anytime they want. So, you know, the question is like, what if they can like, you know, like two in the morning, if you don't want to see them or if you don't want the notification that someone walks into your waiting room, you can turn off your clinic. So if you go to the private, uh, I mean, your provider account here, click on your name and then go to my clinic again. And then down here, you have the operating hours. So you can turn this off. Right now it's on. So if you turn it off, and you can also edit your custom message, you know, like service currently and available, come back later, or, you know, it will be open like tomorrow at, at like 8 a.m. So you can do your custom message here and then you just update that. So once you turned off your clinic and then on the uh, client's end, let me refresh the client's page. Okay, on their end, they will see your message, service currently not available and then they cannot click on the enter waiting room uh, button anymore. So that way you can, you know, uh, avoid people coming into your waiting room uh, after the office hours.